Hello here people, it's Saturday morning here in Sweden, and this is Christian, and I will be playing around with Fusion for 60. Right now I'm looking at a drawing I made and posted like two weeks ago, a small challenge of the fun of it. Uh, and I try to add some things to look at and think about uh, the challenge, and if you enjoy this, please leave a comment, and if you don't enjoy it, also leave a comment and say that. It's really hard to know what people like and think. So, I will now show my workflow. I might not get the totally correct uh, mass every time. It's slightly dependent in which order you do things. I've noticed that we can like change the last two digits of the That's not super important. It's still basically the same shape. Uh, so let's do it. I have fusion here. I'm going to move it to the side and flip up this like that. I already made a save, uh, but we'll create a component, new component. Uh, mount, let's call them that one. Simple. Open up, and let's have a sorry. Let's have a look at our drawing first. Uh, of course, I made this drawing, so I know my own design intent. Uh, there are some things I have maybe deliberately spread out some of the dimensions just to make it a bit confusing. We have a fifty dimension here from the center of this circle out to where the center of the holes are. These are these counter sunk holes here. And if we also have a look here, you can see we have an ellipse here, which is because we have a cylinder, a circle cutting through at angle. And if you cut a circle or a cylinder on angle, you get an ellipse. But we can see here, this is also centered on the center point of this circle. So yeah, that should be hitting each other. Uh, and we have three holes here. So I'd like to make a sketch where I can use these three points. So I can make all of them with one hole command. Uh, that's the basic things to start with. So what I think I start with, I will start creating this uh, base flange or mount wall mount part and then do this pipe later. It feels like the easiest way to do it. So let's do that. Move that over there. That's just slightly. So I think I'll start with this circle. It feels like that's center of the center point and or, uh, that should be my region point to center everything around. So I'll do that. Start the sketch. Let's do it on the front plane. C for circle on the keyboard. Let's make it construction line. And this is going to be... I should do it like this. And then dimension it. Right click and select a radius. So we can do it a 50 radius like that. And uh, have a look at this. So we have some arcs or circles. This is possible to do in a couple of different ways. Uh, we could do half of this and then mirror and stuff like that. But this is like very few features and stuff. So I think I would do the complete thing. Hit L for lines. I will simply just draw this. Oops, sorry, not construction lines. That's going to be horizontal. Holding down the mouse button to do arcs. And these arc are going to fly around the screen sometimes. You see, we can do this like that. And we're going to tell Fusion this is going to be tangent, so we get everything nice. So, uh, as we can see, the center point, also the center of these uh, outer radius here, are on the circle. So let's start by doing that. Tell Fusion that these points are on a circle like that. Uh, and we can also tell Fusion that these three here uh, I'm going to have the same size vector, similar or equal. Sorry, not similar, equal. Uh, this here is horizontally down, so let's put that horizontal between uh, these two points. Why do we want do not want to do that? Horizontal, horizontal, like that. We started to get somewhere. We can change the dimension here. So let's start by dimensioning our little arcs out here. Dimension this arc here. That's going to be fifteen. Yeah, we get it somewhere. Uh, as you can see now, it's a bit strange on here. Let's move over now. I marked 180 degrees here. This means these two should be horizontal. You can do it in different ways. I think I'll do a construction line because it gets everything done in one pass like that. That should be horizontal and it should be coincident to the center point like that. If we do that, we get it nice like that. So basically, the only dimension we are missing is the um, we might call the height here because we can move this up and down. We can't move it in any other direction. That's the only dimension missing. So we're going to dimension this D here. Click the line first, then right click and select 
uh, tangent because the dimensions is all the way down to here you could make a uh, construction lines to help you also and that's going to be 105 let's open up a sketch and have a look and we have a fully defined sketch thank you very much fusion and i think i'll stop there i'm pleased with that so that's my first sketch i'm going to do extrude now but remember i am planning to use the hole command up here and as i'm doing in multiple holes at the same times i want to use the sketch as a reference so when i extrude i want to maintain the sketch at the front of his mount so let's do that it was five millimeters nicely uh, the holes are not in the way for anything else so i think i'll finish this so i'll create the hole i select from sketch points and select my three sketch points like that uh, i'll play it around earlier so uh, yeah, it's only put in some information let's lose this uh, the extent is going to be all holes go all the through it's a countersunk straight like that and it's going to be let's look here it was 12 90 degrees and down here it was yeah 6.5 or did i misread something so it okay and by that we have our little three holes so we have gotten this far and uh, now i like to start creating this pipe here we can turn around so work in the same direction as the drawing is uh, we need to create a sketch somehow. We need to have somehow find this here. There's an angle, but there's no length. But if we have a look here, we can see that this circular or the front edge of this here is aligned with the top. So we can do a helping sketch from the side. Does it do that from the side? And stop being a boring fusion uh, like that. And we do some projections. Uh, as I discussed earlier, the center here is here and this is on the back so we need to find the back of the body so we project in this edge here so we can use that hit ok and if we look at this earlier circle sketch i did that's the origin point that means that if this is going to work it needs to be straight back here turn off the first sketch turn off now turn off the body we're going to turn all of these lines into construction geometry so don't get confused and we do a line, so this is going to be the center line basically of our part. We can use the center line for the fun of it. Uh, it goes like this somewhere, it goes out here. We have a second line, it's going to be construction lines to confuse myself. Uh, this will be constrained midpoint of this line to here. It's going to be uh, not new, it's going to be perpendicular. It has a dimension. This was, uh, let's see, 30. But over here 30 and uh, let's start by locking down this line this is supposed to be the center of the back side this is the center of a circle turn on the sketch again you can see center of a circle here so we want this point back here to be no not like that sorry i want horizontal from this point here to here that's that the second thing that is horizontal the same height is that the top of the circle here of the, f of the pipe up here is aligned to the top so let's do that so this point here needs to be aligned with that one so you, now we're starting to lock things down we can still change things like this so that is our last dimension we have an angle dimension this to here to be 60. so by that we have now nowhere uh, our pipe is gonna run you can do something you can draw the pipe and do some revolution like that revolve and revolution sorry revolve stop doing revolutions just keep just do uh, revolutions revolves revolution revolves uh let's see like that where was i now i started thinking and talking at the same time sorry about that i need to somehow sketch the circles we can do uh some different construction planes i would do plane along path i think use this pull it all the way out do a, a sketch on this little plane here i will simply project in this construction line here turn off the first sketch turn this into a construction line hit c for circle from center point up here and just do an offset i could do two circles when dimension is uh, it was five millimeters minus five like that turn on our body and we have now where our pipe is starting to look from the front we can see that this sketch is aligned with the top of the body 
of a part. So let's do finish sketch and do an extrude. We see here where do we want it to go? Distance to object all the way to this one. Like that. Hit OK. And Fusion helps me. I don't need to do any trimming. If I did a roll, I need, I need to trim stuff like that. Uh, the other thing, we need the hole to go all the way through. We can see the hole on the backside here. So do extrude. This, whoops, sorry. E for extrude. This profile here. In this direction. And just set distance all. And it does like that. And by that, we have done basically everything except this little hole here on the side. And let's see. I need to do a sketch for that, or let's be a bit naughty and go back to the second sketch we did, which is a sketch from the side. I'm going to do a circle here. It's going to be 8 millimeters, and it's going to be dimension from this line to the center here. And that was a 20. Like that. Finish sketch, go all the way to the end, turn on that sketch, do an extrude, uh, select both parts of it. Uh, I'm going to do it symmetric and distance all. We get a cut nicely like that. And let's turn off all our sketches and have a look. So we have made our the wall part with the holes in. We have made our uh, angle pipe. And that, just for the fun of it, let's see, can we change, uh, not that one, that sketch. If you for some reason wanted a more higher angle, maybe, or lower angle, sorry, 70. Yes, the sketch is parametric, so we can go back and change things if we want to. I always try, if this is a parametric software, try to keep things parametric. And the last thing we're going to do is uh, material. Let's see if we can find the physical material. Uh, I used polyethylene high density PE, should be in plastics. Where are we? PE. Oh, yeah, so polyethylene high density, this part here, close. And let's see what properties we got. Sorry, right click and properties. And I get uh, 46.5572. I don't know where I have done. I think I've done a small difference in the order of sketches from this one to this one. And that gives me this very small error. So, but this is the basic workflow I would use to create a fully defined body with all the sketches fully defined, only one body, and in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. So, that was my workflow. Hope it's useful for you. Take care, stay around, and goodbye.